Hi, um, just making a video of our 2018 Forest River Salem Cruise Light Camper. We were asked to do this by some of the customers who are interested in buying this. Um, I'll try to make it quick. This is a picture of the front. Um, it does come with two 20 gallon propane tanks battery is right there um, does have an electric winch under there it comes with an anderson tow compensation hitch that is uh, right around a 600 dollar um, value um, we do keep it locked up i will let to have the uh, locks with that um this is a picture of the side i wanted to show you that it does have an awning and there was no damage to it it does come with leds installed from the factory and top and bottom we upgraded the steps to these step aboves, uh, much better than the uh, flimsy ones they had from stock. Upgraded the handle also. It does have twin axles. The tires are in excellent shape. Has two outside 115 plugs there. It has front and back autom motor operated stabilizers. Raise and lower with the buttons on the outside, as you can see. They are stabilizers, they are not levelers. So Big windows, the shade, it did come with shades. So those are wooden shades. We'll see when they get inside. It does have access to left and right hand side storage. Um, I'll show you the size of the storage from inside. It is accessible from underneath the bed. Here's your door with the screen door, perfectly intact. All right, we'll walk inside. What's one good thing about this camper is it's 27 feet long and it has 22 feet of living space okay as a what they call a camper queen bed now it's a queen size and width but the length i think is about six inches shorter than the queen well i'm six six and i sleep in the fetal position so i don't have any problems sleeping on this bed it's plenty enough wide for me and my wife um, closet open for storage. There's this twin over there. It does have storage up here in the shelving. This is what I was going to show you the access from the storage here. There we go. Raises up. This is the storage from, you saw the doors from outside. Access from left and right. A little bit of tchotchke there for decoration outside but plenty of storage i mean this is my big foot stepping up in here and come back down it is easily to get into it's got two shocks there and then just easily pushes right back down big boom um lighting everywhere curtain for privacy um obviously it sleeps two here this is a nice couch and it is a jackknife couch is what they call it you pull your cushions out from the side and you lift up on it and it turns into a bed see and that's another place a small adult could sleep and then you just push it back down put your cushions back in and voila it's a couch again and plenty of 
foot space in here to walk around. Again, storage area in here. Plenty of storage all throughout the kitchen. Um, comes with a microwave, a vent hood, a three burner cooktop, propane supplied. It does have an oven. So for something this small, it has an oven fully capable of cooking that. Again, propane. Here we go for the dinette. Enough for four grown adults to um, sit in. A little bit of look of the curtains. They are wood cutting. Um, more storage up here. A little 1990s technology CD player that will go with the uh, camper. Back here is your electronic antenna, which it has one installed on top of the uh, camper and or you know your this is also where you hook up for cable and satellite if you have one there's your electronic tv antenna directional we did put a smart tv in here it will stay with the camper here is your stereo cd player with a USB port, auxiliary port, SD port, and uh, it has capability of having speakers play inside. There's a speaker there, speaker there, and it has two speakers on the outside of the uh, camper for entertainment, and or C means you play inside and outside. Now this table does come apart and you can make this into another bed by selecting the cushions downward they do remove now underneath here you have more storage on both and you also have access to that storage if you want to pull up and see get to the full storage from here more storage underneath the sink. Big full-size sink. Very nice. Nice metal brush nickel. Storage for more here, more here. That right there is your circuit breaker panel. Right here is your Dominic freezer. Nice size freezer, Put my hand in here. Stays plenty cold, got a little frost right there. And this is your refrigerator. Again, nice size refrigerator. Everything's in perfectly working order. Nice and cool. Little storage areas right here. It is now on shore power. You can run it off of gas or shore power. This is your full size bathroom. Now, what's good about this bathroom besides me being able to walk around, quick little picture of me, is it does have a medicine cabinet with storage, a nice size sink and a vanity with GFC plug-ins has more storage below here. That's just a little bit of the smell good stuff for the drains and the toilet. More storage over here. Now, here is your shower. Full stand-up shower. Now, and it does have a skylight here. What's good about the skylight is I am six foot six. And I can stand up in this shower and stick my head. Well, it does fit up in here, but I can stand up in this shower no problem with plenty of headroom. Doors shut for privacy. Again, plenty of room for 
you want to hang towels we got a couple of command strips here we're hang towels um dominic toilet again it's uh been winterized so that's what the pink is um if you guys have any questions about any of the interior or performance of this so uh, feel free to contact me on Facebook and uh, I'll be more than happy to answer the questions. Um, it does have a black tank, gray tank, water. Um, I think the water is 40 gallon and I think both the black and gray tanks are both 35 gallons a piece. So nice size tanks. This is where you control your AC. I turn it on. And you also control your heat through here. So the AC is up there. It is ducted. So you get, you can run all your, your AC and have it ducted through there. But you also have central ducts here, a duct in there, and a duct over here into the above you, and then a duct into the bedroom. So nice even spread for your AC. Now the heat is a forced air and run by propane. It only comes out at your feet here or back here. I will tell you that the heat works great and um, doesn't take very much propane to run. Um, it, the heat will has no problem keeping this warm on your toast in your nice and toasty on your cold nights there's plenty of outlets everywhere so you won't be having to worry about plugging in your electronic components or CPAPs or anything else you need um, again uh, weighs in around 4,100 pounds empty um, easily easily half ton towable i tow it with a f-150 with a five liter engine um, again that's uh not the f-150 <laughs> it's right there but anyway thank you